conversations with four women, real talk about real things. And today I am in conversation with my friend Chastity Saunders. She is a model and an actress, and we are discussing going through grief and depression and falling into the wrong relationship. So let's get into it. Chastity, Chastity is, is a model actress extraordinaire, but choosing to do more acting than modeling this yes. year, which I think is amazing. Thank you. Also, one of my new friends. Yes. Which, I have said this, I'll keep saying it. I have had my most successful new friend mm. year. Yes. I saw like, you talking about that on your social. Yeah, I have like really, in terms of like, you know, adulthood mm. and and L.A. Yeah. And just meeting people who have good energy. Mm-hmm. Very important. Are legit doing something. <laughs> Even more important. Because <laughs> um, that's important for me. Yeah. Everybody knows yeah. this. I'm like, yeah. I am very strict on like, you, you got to be doing something. You are easily one of my like examples for people. I'm oh, like, yay. you that do makes me happy. like, yeah, like you do yeah. this really great balance, especially on social media, mm-hmm. of like, this is what I'm going after. Mm-hmm. This is what I want. Yeah. This is where I'm at. And this is also how sometimes it feels. Yeah. I yeah, think yeah, you yeah. do a good mix. Like, I do not, Thank it you. never feels disingenuous. It never yeah. feels just like, oh, Chassie just got her camera on, just yeah. having her camera on. <laughs> yeah. It feels yeah, like, yeah. no, this is an authentic reflection of her life and how she feels. Yeah. That means a lot it. to me for yeah. you to say that. Were you always like this? I think I've always been a very confident person. Okay. Um, I think that I've, over the years, done a lot of work on myself. Okay. And continue to be okay with who I am. Yeah. Authentically. Okay. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm an artist. I like to be an artist. And, okay. and even when I meet guys, because I'm single now, they want to follow me on social. And I have this rule that I don't give people my social media until we've gone out. Oh, dates. Yeah. Where are you typically meeting the guys? Because I guess you're not meeting them on a dating app. No. Okay. And so that's why you're able to kind of be like, you don't have to have my social until we have... A conversation. Okay. As my last relationship, my ex didn't know what I did for almost a year. How? Well, I just lost my dad tragically. So I wasn't really working. working. I needed time for myself. Oh, wow. And social media was one of those things that brought me back. Did the passing, I guess, of your dad, did this change your pursuit? Because it, it, it mean, made my pursuit more um, authentic, more real. It made it more purposeful. Okay. I was always doing it because I love doing it. And yeah. I've always been a girl who enjoyed the lights and the camera and the action. And But when I was broken mm-hmm. and I didn't have it, yeah, it was the thing that got me back up again. So explain that. Because I think that it would be easy for some people to do the opposite. At that point, pursuing something artistic, Mm -hmm. modeling and acting, both careers that are uh, difficult. Very difficult. I think it would be easy to go when grieving to then Mm -hmm. say, I'm not going to do this anymore. Like, I don't I don't need to do this. Oh, yeah. I had I had those thoughts for sure. I don't need to do this thing anymore, but I could never wrap my mind around it. Okay. It was never a real option. Mm -hmm. I was depressed and I was grieving and I was mourning. So everything was the end of the world to me. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, if this is the end for me, if I don't have this strength, I know for a fact that the whole universe, I I say this to myself every day as an affirmation, the universe is rigged in my favor. Mm -hmm. And I I feel like that is a, is a truth for me because I moved to LA literally four months before my dad was killed. No way. Had I not moved to LA, there's no way I'd be sitting here right now. I'm absolutely positive of that. Wow. My dad had thrown me a move into LA party. I booked a TV hosting job. I was hosting an after show for BET with Mara Brock Akil. I definitely don't think I would be in LA after losing my dad as tragically as I did had I not already planted myself here. Yeah. My dad had just thrown me this huge moving to L.A. party and I had all these great mem- like I know he wanted me here. Yeah. I know he was my biggest support system. Like when my dad passed and I had to clean his house I found every single magazine I've ever been in every mm-hmm. clipping from anything I've ever done down to my high school graduation tassels from my cap. Like my dad kept everything. So mm-hmm. it was one of those I'm supposed to be in L.A. And I'd already planted myself in L.A. before everything happened. So it was like, I can't go backwards. He wouldn't want that for me. How did your ex respond when he found out what you eventually did? (sighs) 
My ex did not know what I did for a very long time. And then when he found out, I feel like he Googled me. He didn't even know that my dad had just been killed. He didn't what? know that I was a model or actor. I had been on TV or what magazines. Did he didn't know any of that. So what did you, how did you, you just, did you let him lead in terms of conversation? Were you just a more quiet person? What were, what was going on? Well, I wasn't ready for a relationship. I don't think I knew this was going to be a three and a half year relationship. Wow. This was just something to help me take my mind off of my pain. Yeah. And he was a fun person and he dated me and we just did fun things all the time. We went out of town all the time. We would like go to Vegas courting. on the weekends. Yeah. We would, you know, go to theme parks and we ate out all the time. And he was like one of those people that he wanted to pick me up for work in the morning, take me, drop me off, pick me up, go get lunch. Let's go have a date. Let's go see a movie. He completely took my mind off and of it. And this was here in L.A.? Here in L.A. That's OK. This is yeah. what I will say. This is what's weird about L.A. Uh huh. That makes perfect sense to me, mm -hmm. that you could be in a relationship with somebody, they don't really know anything about you. They don't know you. anything about you. And all they're doing is giving you fun. Yeah. Here in LA, it get, there's so much hardships. Mm -hmm. You're either facing a lot of rejection, mm -hmm. you either left your whole family, you're lonely. There's so many yeah. different things that it, do, it just somehow does not shock me. Yeah. Like being in a relationship with somebody and they're just providing Fun. fun. Like, actual fun. Just Take your mind fun. off of something. So you're just like, I'm not, I don't got to talk about nothing yeah. sad. I'm not going to. No. And so when you eventually revealed yourself. Yeah. Well, he knew then like, oh, okay, I'm a model. But he didn't know that I had modeled for 10 years before I met him okay, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and yeah. had a substantial career. Yeah. He didn't know, you know, that I, you know, done a bunch that of that's TV what I do. Yeah. and this is like a real thing that I do and it's how I provide for myself. And yeah, yeah, no, it was kind of like, oh, okay, she booked this job. <laughs> oh, wow. I know people would think that's really shocking. But honestly, when I was, yeah. especially in my late teens into my 20s, I remember if there was ever a guy that I was dating, mm -hmm. um, I would easily manage to not tell them anything about myself. Like if they just did not know, yeah. I could easily kind of skip just over and- Not your business, we'll yeah, talk about yeah, that. We, yeah. That, I mean, that does have an ex expiration Oh, date. absolutely. Yeah. That expired. So then what ended up happening for why, why did it, how did it end, I guess? Well, he was very um, overprotective okay. and guarded. Um, he'd been through a lot in his life. And so he was a very mine type of person, even me as a human being. Yeah, yeah. So like as an actor, as I started pulling myself up, as I got happier, as I got back into acting classes, as I started booking work and becoming love and light again, because that's who I am. I just was going through something very traumatic at the time. Mm -hmm. um, as I started getting back to myself and showing up for my life he didn't like it yeah. because he loved who I was with just him but when he had to share me with other people it became a problem yeah so he didn't want me going to class or if I went to class he wanted me to come straight home after class we lived together mm -hmm. um and I would want to go out with my classmates and go hang out and kick it and go to the bar and do our like you know what we do after class and he would show up mm -hmm. you know and I gave him time though. I was like, you know, there the jealousy thing, it's got to it's got to end. If it doesn't, I don't know how I can, you know, do this. And he didn't change. I gave him a year of like this is the last thing. You can't be like this. If you're like this, we're not going to survive because mm -hmm. I know who I am as a person. Yeah. And I'm a very strong person. I just was in a place where I was broken. Yeah. And so that was a hard relationship to get out of because yeah. he didn't want to let me go. Mm -hmm. And I had to make sure that I got out of it safely. Mm -hmm. And so that that required a lot and I remember praying and getting in my prayer closet and talking to God and crying in the shower and all the things and saying, "God, just help me out of this. If you create the door, be show me the door I promise to walk through it wow. because I owe it to myself that's a great prayer though that's very like that's specific in a genuine way you seem like you speak and the change happens <laughs> like I, you're I, like look I'm changing and I'm changing I you posted recently I have to be careful what I ask for no I because mean, I'm so intentional about it I normally get it yeah you're like look I'm a manifesting queen I'm a manifesting queen it's taught me to be whole Oh yeah, and how you have to be constantly finding what oh my God. looks like. Yeah, and why and, and why all, all that kind of stuff. Oh, LA, thank you. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm who I want to be. Okay, where <laughs> like, do people find you? Where do they follow you? Okay, so people can follow me online uh, on Instagram. Of course, you yeah. guys can follow me at Chastity Saunders on Instagram. Um, I do Facebook, but don't even worry about that. I just do you do Twitter? Facebook. I do Twitter. It's me, Chastity. Okay.
Chastity it's me, Chastity, on Twitter. But and Instagram Chastity is Saunders where you're Instagram. active. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. And hopefully on your tizu. Yeah! Okay! Okay. okay. <laughs> She's an incredible actress. So thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you so much to Chastity for sharing your story and giving us your insight and your tips on how to manifest and how to change your life. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with any of your friends who you think may like it. Bye, guys!